Greetings, McWarriors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is TTB. Good to see you all today. Well, we're playing the Nightstar 9 Juliet today in a wonderful build that is a modified stock loadout, but with a little bit more oomph and also with a little bit more efficiency. So, before we jump into the build, let me just read you real quick the description from the Nightstar from the uh, technical manual. And it says, the Nightstar was born in the early years of the Amaris Civil War, when it became clear that battlefield commanders, especially those piloting marauders, were being specifically targeted by Amaris troops. Eight months after the SLDF commissioned this heavy support and command mech, the first Night Stars were put into production in 2767. Following Kerensky's exodus, it became an early casualty of the First Succession War, with both of its production facilities being destroyed in 2786. A pair of Ghost Rifles supplemented with an ERPPC give it unprecedented long-range capabilities and that's exactly what this thing will do. This is going to be a Sniper Night Star with a little bit of point defense on top of it. Let's jump right into the build. And guys, let me know if you, if you actually like to have these little bits of lore in there or should I just leave them out? I'll leave that up to you. As you can see, we're running double Gauss Rifles and of course the ERPPC in the large laser slot in the right torso. And then I've chosen to go with two medium lasers and a small laser to provide a little bit of extra point defense once we've shot our Alpha Strike because in um, Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries there is no Ghost Heat so we can shoot two Gauss Rifles and an ERPPC together no problem. In order to have enough ammo, we've got two tons of gauze ammo in each leg, two tons in the center torso, and one ton in the right torso. We're using a total of six double heat sinks, two in the right torso, three in the left torso, and one in the center torso. And that is basically it. Alpha Strike Firepower here is listed as 53, but of course, your damage will be higher if you use higher quality components. This is quick play, so it's only, yeah, you only have one uh, star or one tier item level available. So, Armor, of course, up front, as always. I made a little bit of a doozy here. There we go. Uh, I chose to go with 8 rear armor, but you could also go with 6 rear armor. It doesn't really make that huge of a difference. Important to us that we front load our armor because this thing out of the box comes with symmetrical armor and you don't want to run around in an assault mech with 60 armor on the, on the front CT. That is just not a nice experience. Okay, enough about that. Let's jump right into the mission here. We're dropping with uh, 375 out of, out of 400 tons, 100 difficulty mission. It is going to be quite the fight, I imagine. I chose to go with an Atlas Boar's Head, a Slapnir, and a Mauler Knockout for the AI, just to see how they will actually fare with that. Enemy and we will be will the dedicated sniper. Area. At least that is the plan. So, let's see if our plan survives first contact. First of all, let's go ahead and set our weapon groups. Gauss rifles are set, yeah, PPC is set, and then the last group will be medium lasers and small lasers. I just shoot them all together. That's easier to manage that way. So we have three weapon groups that we need to worry about. The most important ones are at your fingertips. Gauss rifle and ERPPC. Actually, I need to change these around for one sec. Put them at the correct mouse button. There we go, much better. Actually, it's the wrong button. <laughs> Here we go. So, that's the FPC. Alright. As that tree just felt the wrath of the FPC. Gonna go into our base here. And then start defending, I guess. It doesn't look so bad. Uh, are you? Oh. Yep. Yeah, yep, yeah, he's doing it. <laughs> he's like, crash. I'm sorry. Crash. I'm sorry. Alright. And the force is coming in, and I hear somebody on a drop. Sh oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just drop right on top of me. There's a spawn mod in action, by the way, that just dropped a tank. We did not get you deceived by that. Let's go with my alpha strike here. Boom! Oh, ho, ho, ho. I asked like, the cockpit here. That was nice. Another alpha strike. Boom! He's almost dead. Let's go ahead and give him another one. The lasers, maybe. Rip! Oh, look at that, more mechs and more tanks, actually, getting dropped off here. Let's pick him off here. DPC, cross rifles, and lasers. Beautiful. Got a light mech on me, I think. Let's uh, show him why that's not a good idea. Cross rifles are ready, and bye-bye. There's a helicopter coming in now. He's in range for the medium lasers, not a problem. And now we can take off uh, on the cicada right here. Boom. Now, the reason why I chose to combine Gauss Rifles with the ERPPC, and of course it comes like this uh, standard, but the reasoning behind it, guys, is that the Gauss projectiles are very fast. 
And the EIPPC projectile is also very fast, so you have something that can travel a lot of distance quite quickly. Like this. Boom. Let's see how many shots we need on this guy's CT. The main bonus of this EIPPC is that you don't have to lead your target as much. You can just literally just click on the target you want to hit, and he's dead. That simple. Now we go ahead and engage Cicada. Once again, we see some tanks being dropped off here. I love that spawn mod. It just it just makes so much sense. It just makes so much sense for the game. I feel that this this mod really helps with immersion because you don't have mod enemies spawn behind you for no reason anymore. They actually get dropped off now. Mommy is actually bringing them with a bus. Boom. And boom. <laughs> he just folded over himself. Okay, let's fall back here a little bit. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. So much for <laughs> falling back. I might have chosen poorly. Oh, maybe not. Boom. Straight up a strike. Very nice. Let's do that again. Boom! Bye bye. That Thunderbolt just got murdered. I'm gonna stand the catapult next. Wow. There's another delivery coming in. This should again be tanks, probably. See, it's just one tank being delivered. And I'm okay with that. That's much better than them just spawning behind you. You actually see where they're coming from. You have an idea that something is bound to happen. Actually, let's go ahead and murder this guy. And that, you have insane precision with these weapons. They're small projectiles. The biggest projectile you have is the IPPC. And um, as you can see, you can do easy headshots with this. Or relatively easy headshots. If you need to shoot any targets up top in the air, not a problem. The Gauss rifles can reach them, as well as the medium lasers. Let's get the guys to move over here. And we will go ahead and murder this Banshee here. Okay, that was not a headshot. I wish I had higher zoom available to me. That would be amazing. That was another headshot. Yeah, I can't really see his cockpit unfortunately because it's too far away. That's the big problem in the game that I, I need to see fixed. Anybody out there, please make a zoom mod where you can actually zoom in. That would make my day. Oh yeah, as you can see, we have a good time here sniping at targets. Let's go ahead and destroy the Penchi. Boom. Our Cyclops is really getting hammered for some reason. Boom. Take away the Cicada. Now we go for the Rifleman, who's shooting me, of course. That's not a problem. We don't want to be in front of a Nightstar, dude. He's not healthy. The power of the Inner Sphere. I mean, it's also the Inner Sphere mech, but... <laughs> By the way, guys, you will get this mech towards the end of your story missions. That's where you can find that. I don't think that's a huge spoiler saying that you can find it towards the end of your story missions. Okay. Now the tank done. And now we go for the back here of that stalker. And hopefully... Nope, I didn't get the side choice here. Okay. Well then, the alpha strike. Who lost the component here? Oh, my Cyclops is dying. Yeah, that's alright. That's alright. I didn't like the guy anyways. Let's go ahead and uh, stay on the stalker here. So? Oh no, he, he ran away. Why did you do that? Come back. Come back, buddy. Also, I'm getting shot here quite a bit. So, we need to, we need to deal with these guys quickly. That's one. The stalkers are hard to headshot. Really hard to headshot. Also, I'm a little bit hot now. But as you can see, like this is the first shutdown we got, and we've been shooting quite a bit. Also, we just lost something. I think I'm missing something. Take away that helicopter. Okay. Do I still have my PVC? No. Okay. Well, that's an easy thing then. We will just go ahead and engage the soccer. Is this going to finally be the day a TTB dies in the video? Who knows? The funny thing is, my Atlas Boar's head is still quite pristine. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. He's still alive. No, he's not alive anymore. Okay. Alright, guys. Come on. Show your firepower. Is he shooting? Okay, yeah, he's definitely shooting. Just not shooting well. 
Okay, now with some fire. Some missiles. So there's definitely some damage there, it's just not coming enough. Okay. Boom. That's a boom. Hallelujah. Alright, now <laughs> let's let's limp to the uh, exit here. Because it took quite a bit of damage. Uh, those 100 difficulty missions, they drop quite a bit of firepower. And um, as as we've established, the AI mates are horrible. Um, I also wonder if somebody could come up with some kind of armor sharing mechanic for the game. So that your AI mates would learn to share armor. That would be amazing. I'm just running right now to try and stay alive. Which sounds easy, but um, we've got somebody on our tail already. And the next drop already coming in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're out of here. We're out of here. Have we also lost our Cyclops, but that is okay. Because pilots are a dime a dozen. And the mech, the mech can be salvaged. We'll just buffer out the blood and whatever and the, the gore from the cockpit. It'll be fine. Alright, let's see how we did in this thing. I like the sheer burst fire capability here, especially the insane range. Like you have, but if, basically if you can see it and if you can target it, you can hit it with full firepower from your sniper stuff. 1,344 damage done, that's not too bad. The Mauler actually did basically nothing. The Cyclops got reduced to a leg, a side torso at the cockpit. And the boar set didn't do too badly. So um, once again, the AI seems to struggle with uh, Maulers, not their thing. Atlas though, not that bad. Also, <laughs> we took 668 damage. <laughs> That's quite a bit. As you can see, the AI pilot died with 723, uh, so the 725 damage taken. So, 17 total kills, one air unit, six vehicles, 10 mechs. Nice concentrated firepower over long range. Let me know if you like this build in the comments below. If you did like this video, press the thumbs up button and do check out my Patreon page. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. I'm TTB, and I'm out of here.